Hey everyone, it's Samantha. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to part two of my massive Dollar Tree haul. If you have missed the first video, definitely go over and check that out. Um, it was a lot of Crafter Square stuff along with a few little household goodies. And so this video is going to be all Halloween except for one thing that is Thanksgiving. So let's just jump right in. So I picked up this super cute little wooden ghost. This was the only one that they had left, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I picked up two of the little um, haunted house. These are little thin wood pieces, so I thought those were fun. They'll be super cute to alter. And then I also picked up one of the um, wooden pieces. This is the witch and her cauldron. And this was the only one they had left of this one, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I did pick up a um, <laughs> super cute set of these little skeleton uh, tongs, and I thought these were really fun. Of course, I'm not going to use these in my kitchen. I have something else in mind for them, so I grabbed one set of those. I did grab another pack of the... Um, the uh, metal words and these say haunted spooky and beware I also grabbed three things of ribbon and I thought that these were super cute and the pumpkin has a little bit of glitter detail on it not sure if you guys are able to tell especially with the glare but I thought these ribbons were super pretty and they reminded me so much of fall with all of those beautiful colors and then I did pick up some more Halloween cards that I had not um, picked up previously so there's this one I'm loving the vintage feel of this and then this one says have an enchanted night and I love the paper uh, lanterns and all the glitter and then this one says there's magic in the air and it's a cat riding a broom in front of a moon over a hay field with pumpkins and a crow <laughs> super adorable and then this one is super cute too. I just love the pumpkins and the spider web and the glitter detail. So there are those cards that I will be adding to my collection. I did pick up a pack of these plastic mini buckets and these are in the shape of a skull and there are four pieces in here. And I thought those were really fun. And then I also picked up another pack of the mini buckets and these are shaped like cauldrons. I already used one out of these on my um, altered canvas and the for the collab that I'm participating in. If you guys have not um, heard about the collaboration, you definitely need to uh, scroll back a couple videos and check that out. And then you can also see my altered canvas where I use um, a piece of one of these cauldrons on it. And I did pick up a pack of these decorative pumpkins. I did not have this size and then the glitter um, orange. So I thought these were fun. Super, super cute. I just grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed two packs of these super cute little um, miniature pins. And these are Halloween themed. I thought this would be super cute for some Halloween happy meal. And I also grabbed uh, four packs of these uh, little pumpkin putties. Now, I've seen a couple people on YouTube buy these. They clean the uh, putty out of it. Or it's more like a slime, I think. And um, have been putting like sequin mixes in it. So I thought that was a super cute and fun idea. So I definitely wanted to have some of these on hand. I also grabbed two packs of these. Um, these are skull and bone necklaces. And um, I'm not going to use them as a necklace. I'm actually going to cut them apart and use the little skulls and the bones. And I thought they were just super adorable. So I did grab two of those. And then I also found another one of these little um, drawstring bags. And these are so cute. And I just love this one. This one says hashtag cool ghouls. And I am loving all of the colors and the pumpkins. Super, super cute. And then I also grabbed two packs of these glitter spiders, and I grabbed one in green and one in purple. There are six pieces in each pack. And then I grabbed two packs of the uh, Witch Wooden DIY stickers. This is the first time this year that I had seen these in the stores, and they only had two, so I definitely wanted to grab those up. And then I bought these little window decorations, and these are kind of like little, they feel like gel, but I was thinking that maybe I would be able to um, back these with some cardstock 
a, or something like that and maybe be able to use them in some projects. So I just grabbed one of those. Sorry about the glare, you guys. And then I also grabbed, let me get them over here. I grabbed a couple different packs of these window clings and um, I don't plan on using these as window clings. Again, I think I'm going to try to back them on some cardstock. And I just thought that these were so super cute to use in some projects, maybe to decorate a Happy Mail envelope. So I grabbed one in this design. And look how stinking cute this one is. I absolutely love this. My favorite one is this witch on her broom in front of the moon, and it says Witch's Brew. And this one says Hocus Pocus. I love all of the little, um, the little bottles, so I thought that was fun. And then I did grab two of these. Of course, a Hocus Pocus. I was <laughs> automatically attracted to it. That is one of my favorite, um, my favorite fall and Halloween movies. So I grabbed two of those. Again, these are super cute. I mean, if you wanted to use them on your window, you certainly could. That's what they're made for. But I'm going to try to include these in some projects. And then the last one I picked up is this one. Now these are a little on the larger size, larger side, <laughs> sorry, not size. Um, but again, I might be able to do something fun with these. I'm gonna try it anyway. So there is that. And then this is the little Halloween thing that I picked up. I found one pack of these little turkey color your own wood ornaments. <laughs> I thought he was super cute. So I grabbed that. And then, you guys, I saved the best for last. I am just tickled pink that I found these. Oh, my gosh. I am in love with these. I found these glass bottles. And these things are huge, you guys. Like, you can see, you know, <laughs> they're, like, gigantic. And they had four different designs in four different colors. And I bought three of each because these are just so cute. You could do... So many fun things with these. Oh my gosh, adorable. So this one is like this purple color and the label says since 1692 Witches Brew, potion number 666. It says brewed with only the finest all natural ingredients in the grand tradition of Salem's finest witches. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, these are so fun. And then the next one is this um, greenish yellow bottle. This is unfiltered poison. It says, which is great, keep chilled, poison. And then it says, fine mix of bone dust, gnomes, toes, and dragon saliva. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and this says, since 1778. These are so stinking cute. I love these. And then the orange one says zombie brew and um, it says 1902 here. Got the zombie hand coming out of the ground in between the tombstones. And it says for minute zombie toes and fingers. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. And then the last one is this really dark um, blue and it's wool of bat magic since 1559. And it says rehydrate bats, wool and warm milk. Oh my gosh, are these not the cutest things ever? And um, I actually picked up these bottles um, maybe like two, two weeks ago or so. And I have not seen a single one in any of the stores that I've been through or been to since then. I knew that these were not going to last. And that's why I went ahead and picked up three of each design. Just super, super adorable. Definitely my favorite find. Um, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've been able to find any of these. And if you have, I am so curious to see what you have done with those. So yeah, definitely drop me a comment. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. And until the next one, bye for now.